All right, we're looking at the first jug here. Uh, this is what was collected out of the second container, the second condenser jug. Five gallon can uh, at the very bottom of the downhill slope of the first extended pipe. Uh, you can see here if I rock that, it's got a nice oily look to it. It's a little more liquid than the first catch. Uh, a little thinner, but it's very, very black, very nice. Uh, and if we look at it right here on the side, you can see just about how much we got out of that. And let's see, that is about a quarter of a gallon uh, right there. So let's go ahead and go on to this one. Now this is the glass jug that we had been looking at the whole time. And as you can see, if I move that around, there's a nice black layer on the bottom and this really golden honey colored oil floating around up above that. And you notice if that black stuff and the honey color weren't both oils, the black would be on top. Typical if that was water and oil. So that was how much we collected, minus a little bit of experimenting from there, obviously. And then this is from the first one. This is a very thick crude oil. You can tell because I can put it up on the edge of the glass there, pull it back. You can see a lot of it left over behind on the glass. Uh, still a little bit of water in there that we're going to condense out of this now that we're going to put this through the refinery. So if we made a total measurement here between the three, we probably ended up with just under a half a gallon of crude oil, minus also what I have here. So let me go ahead and pull these test tubes up one by one here and show you the consistency and the color up close. So you can see from the fourth and final collector here, it's a very thin colored, almost rusty uh, looking liquid, very thin, very viscous. Not much consistency to it. Let's go ahead and grab the second container here. You'll notice a really beautiful golden color to that fuel. Uh, it's about the last of where the oils really collect, a higher grade of oil. Alright, you can notice how thin it is. It doesn't stick up on the glass all that well. Let's go to the second catch here. This is where we start getting into a little bit darker crude. And you'll notice in there, if I move that around, it will actually color the glass but won't fully stay on it. Uh, that's a pretty good indicator to the quality of fuel you get there. Very liquid. Alright, and fourth and final one here. Uh, as you can tell, if I roll that onto the glass, say towards us here, It'll actually stay and coat the glass, uh, as you can tell right there by the streak running down it. Very dark crude oil. So the next step of this project now is to put this all through the refinery, which will actually be connected inside the wood stove that made all of this.